Вера, надежда, любовь Что остается прежде Дверь закрывает замок Разлука закроет сердце Хочется верить и ждать Хочется не прощаться Только такое счастье Luba, I'll put the glasses on myself, and you bring the gifts under the tree. And when are we going to put the meat on? Well, how about when? We'll set the table and put it on. Bring it. I'll get it, I'll get it. Are we waiting for someone else? And I invited Vova. Did you warn your mother and Petrovich? And what? Will Petrovich be against his own son? And mom. But mom just might be against it. Oh, come on. What could she not like? Well, the fact that he is her husband's son from her first marriage at least. Actually, he's my boyfriend. And on this basis, he can celebrate the new year with us. Come on. Are you serious right now? Of course. You can't even doubt it. That is, you want to say that in the coming year we can eat salads and drink champagne not only on the occasion of the new year. Maybe. <gasps> good girl. What a good fellow you are. And his mom. Wait. But what? Is she against the happiness of her own son? But if he has fallen in love with a girl and wants to marry her? I don't know. When are you going to tell us? Well, I don't know. Today Vova will come, I will consult with him. Maybe today. Yes. Listen, the new year is coming soon. Mom and Petrovich won't have time like that. Yes, I know, they have a late operation today. But it seems nothing serious, we should have time. That's it. Finished. I didn't understand. Well, what about it? A nurse can't kiss a surgeon after a successful operation. Maybe, probably. But I thought, like this, in an official place. I know what you're thinking. Have you thought? Why would that be? I answer. Because I still love you. And because today is the 31st of December. What do you mean still? And what does the 31st of December have to do with it? <laughs> Which means we've been married for 10 years. 10. And in four hours the new year. Exactly. It's the new year, you fool. Well, you fool. No, Vadim, you're not a fool. You're a surgeon. And this is actually a diagnosis. Luke, the phone. Vova is calling. Answer me, please. Hello. Yes, hello. No, it's not Luba. Yeah, great. Congratulations. I wish you happiness in the new year. Love. Yeah. At home. I give. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. And why? And what about mom? Ah, oh, the new year is a family holiday. Isn't your father? Okay, got it. And you? For now. And I love you. Well, don't get upset, but I wanted you to be there. All right. All right. I love you too. Yes, in general, he will stay at home. Mom said it was a family holiday. There's another friend there. All right. Sis, well, don't worry about it. Tomorrow you will meet with Vova. By the way, we also have a new year, a family holiday. Get married next year, and you will have your own holiday. 
It would be sooner already. Sausage. We forgot to cut the sausage. And, by the way, parting brings lovers closer. Oh, come on. Vadim, of course. I understand that it's not before the holidays to start these conversations. But... Well, what? Maybe we'll move in with you somehow. What are you, Ver? We'll move somehow. The mortgage has just been paid off. Let's breathe a little from this slavery. Oh, no. I meant, maybe you and I will somehow move into the living room, and the girls will be settled in the rooms. Why are they in the same father's room? That's right. If we move into our living room, it's like a dining room. We'll have to take turns eating in our tiny kitchen. Oh, Vadim, don't exaggerate. Our kitchen is small, but the four of us can easily fit there. And the five of us will also fit if Velodia comes. By the way, doesn't it bother you that he and Lubka have become more frequent together? Then to the cinema, then somewhere else. So what? But how what? They are brother and sister after all. I think it's somehow indecent. Why did they suddenly become brother and sister? Because we got married? Well, children from different marriages, they're not related. I am very glad that they have become friends. Wow. Nothing. That. It's snowing. Wow. Oh, how beautiful. How cool. Come on, what is it, Vadim? What? What's the matter with you? Kolya's shoulder blade caught a cold in his back. Yes, which one? Yes, both of them. It's blown, we have solid drafts. Thank you. Oh, my god. We'll take you to the knife. It's not fatal, it will pass by itself. Varachka, Vadim. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Guys. No, no, thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Thank you, thank you, Velodia. Thank you, dear, for everything. Happy New Year to you. All the best, happiness. Congratulations to everyone. I'll give it to the guests. A kiss. Velodia kisses everyone. Happy New Year. Tomorrow, as soon as you get enough sleep, come. Yes. Well, of course we'll leave it. We'll leave everything to you. Come on, son, you again. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Stop. Stop eating salads. There will be no room for my signature dish. I cooked the meat. Meat is your favorite. I cooked it. But I tried, I don't know. Meat is meat, but they forgot the gifts. And our gifts? Now. <laughs> this is for you. For me. Yes. Open it. Open it. Come on quickly. Oh, my god. Girls, try it on. Thank you very much. Believe me. No, because the main thing is that everything fits. That's it. Vadim, you dropped something. Are you a gift for me? Come on. Vadim. Vadim, what's wrong with you? Can you hear me? Luba, call an ambulance. Hurry up. Well, Vadim, open your eyes. Nadia, first aid kit. Hurry up. Come on over. I'm asking. Yes. He fainted. A heart attack. Not. Vadim Petrovich Binetsky, five years old. And there are 14 builders. Apartment 23, sixth floor. Binetsky. Bonetsky. Why is this name so familiar to me? That he is a surgeon in the 11th city hospital. Well, was there really nothing to be done, eh? Girl, I'm an ambulance doctor, not the Lord God. I can't raise the dead. And now what are you sitting for? I'm waiting for the precinct. I've already called him. I'm sorry, this is the procedure. Are you the deceased's daughter? No. We are Nadia Patritsi. Are there any other close relatives? Yes, there is a son. I'd call him if I were you. Right now. Then a car will arrive, and Vadim Petrovich will be taken away. Hurry up. Well, how am I going to call him? He's celebrating the new year now. Girl. What new year? His father had just died.
Yes. No, the funeral service is already doing that. Thank you. Don't. Goodbye. That she fell asleep. No. Lying there, watching. And what if the injection didn't help? Helped. She stopped crying. Velodia, thank you very much. For helping us with all these funeral stories. To know what you're talking about, it's still my father. These funeral agencies rip everyone off like a stick. I still can't believe it happened. Nate, go to Vera Ivana, and don't leave her alone out of harm's way. Baboos. Please don't leave us alone. It's going to be really bad for us without you. Luban. Where am I going to go? <laughs>
Vera. Thanks for everything. Faith, me too, so I have half an hour left before my shift, okay? Hold on, will we settle down well? Thank you. Nastia, this is the last one. Thank you. How else can I help? Thank you for everything everything everything. Go collect the table. I'll collect it. I'll help you too, okay? Uh. Well, maybe you'll stay with us. It will be easier for all of us this way. And mom and Nadia will know that you and I are together. Luban, I need to go home. My mom doesn't feel well. She's worried too, you know? Do you want me to talk to her myself and tell her that we want to get married? What kind of marriage is it now? Where to live and for what? What's your salary? A small salary, love. I have to take money from my mother. All right. I'm going to graduate from college soon. I'm going to work as a tutor for the children of rich parents. We will have money in. Well, come on, when you're done, then we'll discuss it. All right? Well, it's years to wait. You won't have time to blink so much for summer. You assemble a normal table. Mom, mm -hmm. where's our money? Our money. And you spent our money on your daddy's funeral. We don't have any more. I hope we will be repaid this debt. Or did you generously give me your money? Of course they will. Yeah. Son, sit down. Let's talk seriously. Yes. Son, I think that right now we need to prepare for the registration of your inheritance. What are you talking about, Mom? You are one of the two legitimate heirs of Vadim and must declare your rights in time. After Vadim, there was a one-bedroom apartment, half of which belongs to you by law. So they, together with Vera and Vanna, bought this apartment and paid off the mortgage. I found out everything. Your father designed this apartment before he signed with this nurse. So you're the heir. Son, you're a grown man now and it's time for you to have your own place. I'm not going to do that. This is their apartment, let them live in it. What a noble thing, oh oh oh. Well, did the genes of the father Silverless start talking? So? My dear, in a few months you will remain a beggar and will again be sitting on my neck. That's enough. Yeah, yeah. Valentina Alexandrovna, hello. Oh, hello, put it on. Happy holiday to you, happy new year, happy holidays to you too. And why did you decide to visit us during the holidays? We're only leaving the day after tomorrow. What happened? Yes, I wanted to ask you. Have you been looking for cleaners? Have you found them yet? What, do you have someone in mind? Prisit. Well, you warned me right away that the salary is small. Well, it's just a side job for retirement. Here I just need a part-time job. And I live here two minutes on foot. I can come two hours early, and then to my guys. And if it's not a secret, Something happened, right? It's no secret, my stepfather died. Oh, my God. So the kingdom of heaven, and when is that? Right on New Year's Eve. Yes. They buried him the day before yesterday. So we were left without a breadwinner, without money, and me. My poor you are mine. Well, of course, of course. I'll think about how to register you. 
and let's go out on Monday. Thank you very much. Hello. Who do you want? Hello, and you are Vova's mother, probably. My name is Luba. Is Vova at home? Let's say. And what did you want? I brought the money. Vova helped us with the funeral. Now Vadim Petrovich's friends have collected and helped in the hospital. Pass it on, please. I'm glad my son helped you. You know. Robochka. I couldn't be at the funeral, I got sick. What are we standing for? You're coming through, please. Vera, there are no extra bets at the moment. There are no side jobs either. I understand everything, but... I understand everything too, Sviatoslav Pavlovich. Try to communicate with relatives at the Bedridden. I think they probably need a night nurse there. Only, ch, don't refer to me. I don't know anything and I don't know anything. Of course. Of course. You know, Antonina Dmitrievna. I am. The girl, Volodia. Yes, and Vova told you, didn't he? Oh, no. Volodenka is very taciturn. I had to guess myself. Doesn't it bother you that you're kind of like brother and sister? No, not at all. We have different parents. Well, yes, of course. And how do you have money in your family now? Well, to be honest, not really. Well, never mind, we'll manage. I have no doubt. Have you paid off your mortgage? Yes, back in December. It turns out, somewhere less than half a month ago. What good fellows. Well, don't worry. Soon everything will fall into place. Don't get upset. In. Hello. By the way, I liked your mom so much. And she doesn't mind at all that we're dating. Come on. Mm -hmm. World War II, let's go to the clubhouse today and dance, unwind. You know, I have problems with my bank card and I don't have any cash with me at all. Well, okay, and then let's go to the cinema. I've had enough in the movies. Let's take a ticket to the last row. What did you pay for me, girl? Who do you take me for? Come on, but we're together. Why can't I pay? That's exactly why you can't. Shall we go have a cup of tea then? You know, I'm so busy with work right now, and I have regular meetings. Well, then, let's meet tomorrow. Tomorrow is also loaded. Tight, tight. Hello. Hello. Hello, Romana. Well, what about us on the stairs? Come to us. Well, I'll make you some tea. Lubashka probably didn't think to suggest it. I offered. But you are a very important meeting. However, I only conducted. That's it, goodbye. Happily. For now. Come on. Hello, Anatoly Sergeyevich. Oh, that's what I need. Vladimir Vadimovic, we have problems. What kind of problems? Well, the fact is that several promising clients flew off, and we were simply doomed to optimization. What do you mean? We have to refuse your services. How? I didn't understand. So, old man, you're fired. I'm sorry. How was he fired? We are not pulling. Thank you for coming. That's great. I've just been turned away from work. Come on. Reduced. You know, everything just kind of piled up at the same time. And the father is dead. 
and the mother is visiting, or a bathhouse all the time, let's go there, let's go here, and I don't have a penny of money to go to cafes with her. Listen, well, let me ask my friends, maybe there is a vacancy, my mother will kill me altogether, he'll kill you, you know, are you going to talk, and what, she'll find out sooner or later, it's better to say it yourself. Okay, let's go, let's go. You are as helpless in life as your father. He, too, could never stand up for himself. Mom, please, I'm already sick. This is bad for me, son. It's me who will have to work hard now to feed you, clothe you, put on shoes. So that's it. Write a power of attorney. I'm a professional lawyer and now I'm going to claim your inheritance. Well, at least the fool will get you some corner. No, tell me, who needs you now, without money, without a job? I can't do that to them, I can't. And what can you do? Mm -hmm. I'll be looking for a job. Just don't forget to register on the labor exchange. I'll register. A fair wind. Hello, Andrew, hi, it's me. Well, what about work? Like in a month. But I need it urgently. Yes, I cannot do any job in my specialty. A driver? Thanks, I'll think about it. Okay, I get it. Thanks, bye. Andrei Mihailovich. This is Antonina Dmitrievna. Good evening. Do you remember our conversation about my son? Hello. Yes, Luban, hello. How are you? To the concert today? I can't, I have an important meeting with a client. I'm afraid you're working late. So you go with the girls, tell me later. I'll be jealous. Have a good evening. I kiss you. Sun. How's the search for your place in the sun? Nothing. I see. Sun, come here. What else? So, while you were breathing air, your mother put half of the city on your ears and got you a lawyer's job in a subsidiary of an oil magnate. Thank you. Just a second. I have a condition. Which one? You still sign a power of attorney for me in the case of inheriting your father's apartment. And I tell you the place and time of the interview. Mom, why do you need this, huh? How why? You're my son. I care about your welfare, but you have some kind of whim, and I don't really like it. That's why I set the conditions. Well? I need to think about it. What are you doing? You. Are you stealing from your mother? And all because of this slut. And that's it. It's all there. Enough is enough. I'm the only idiot, right? You're all so smart. Mom. Mom. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? 
Something is pressing. What? What can I get you? There are drops of them in the kitchen cupboard. Take a look, please. Now. How many drops? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Wait. Calm down. Yes. Right now. Right now. Now. Yes. Let go. Mom. Oh. Mommy, don't worry. Okay, I'll sign whatever you want. Just, please, let's not divide the living space now. Let them live as they live. And I will remain the owner. So, for the future, just in case. Okay? All right? All right. Just let's go to the notary together now. How is it now? You're having a seizure. I'm going to have an even worse attack if we don't. Let's go, my son. All right. Let's go. All right. The office is cool, fancy, high-tech. Everyone there is in suits, with ties. Such business, where to go. And who will you be there? A lawyer, of course. Well, that's for now. It's easy to climb up there. And most importantly, do you know what my salary will be? Which one? Like this. But I'm still offended by you. What is this for? Because I didn't know anything. You don't tell me that you have problems at work. Well, I just didn't want you to be nervous. But I can easily make up for my wine. Eh. Uh. Let's go to my place. Will you find out? Yes. Mom? Oh, you bastard. Rubbish. Mom, I'll explain everything to you later. What are you going to explain to me? Why did this slut's mother take my husband away from me? And now she wants to take her son away. <laughs> well? Have you tried the sofa? Did you like it? And the apartment seems to be better than your mortgage, right? And here it is for you, girl. Take a bite. Get out of my house so I don't see you here anymore. And next to her son, so that she never appears. Come on, come on. No face, no skin. Well, you give. A statement from Antonina Dmitrievna Benetskaya, acting under the power of attorney of Vladimir Vadimovic Benikogo. 1987th year of birth. That's what he is, it turns out, you're Volodenka. I don't believe it. Maybe it's not him, maybe it's somehow legally required. Of course, according to the law. The mother turns her son around to deprive us of an apartment. What are we going to do now? And it depends now on the plans of the heir. Can he file for a partition and turn our apartment into a communal apartment? Or maybe put your share up for sale, and then we can buy it. But where are we going to get so much money from? I don't believe it. I will meet Vova tomorrow and we will decide everything. This is some kind of nonsense. You'll see, everything will be fine. Well, you're not like that. He's good. Yeah. When mom saw us, she was very upset and angry. But I can still understand that. Well, here's what she said. Okay, let's go. And this letter with the apartment, what is it? Are you going to sit outside? Are you stupid? 
It's just a common formality, the designation of rights at the right time, it's always the law. Really? Of course. And nobody evicted us anywhere? Yes, 100% no. Okay, then kiss me here and apologize. Sorry, sorry. The main problem for you now, Vera Ivanovna, is that your late husband did not leave a will. An application for inheritance has been filed on behalf of his son. And you will have to share your apartment with him in equal shares. How is that? Wait. This apartment is shared with my husband. Wait, well, he left that old apartment of his to his ex-wife. According to the law, it is possible to deprive a direct heir of an inheritance only with the help of a will, and you don't have one. What are we going to do now? Buy a smaller apartment for your share. But I have two daughters. Adults. Adults? Yes. Well, daughters are free birds. I'll get married, move in with my husbands. And until then... Listen. Your late husband didn't bother to adopt your girls. I can't do it for him. I can't do it for him. Have a seat. I'm listening to you. Antonina Dmitrievna. I wanted to tell you. I didn't divorce you with Vadim. I met him when you were no longer living together. I don't understand why you're taking revenge on me. Me? You? Are you out of your mind, little head? Who are you that I should take revenge on you? But... I don't understand then. Why are you kicking us out of your own apartment? But Vadim, he left everything to you. You and your son after the divorce. And he wandered around in rented apartments. Can you, my dear, get straight to the point? But the bottom line is that you just kick us out with the girls, here with all our belongings, with all our already ruined life. I'm begging you, don't. That's how I knew. I knew you'd be pushing for pity. But it's pointless. The legal norm is clearly spelled out. The only son and the widow inherit equally. What are we going to do now? How am I going to say all this, girl? But, my dear, but no one throws you out on the street. Will you just move into a more modest apartment? And it depends on you whether you will do it voluntarily or forcibly through the court. And I definitely win the court. Don't hesitate. I have no doubt. Lubin, hi. What are you doing here? Aren't you afraid of upsetting your mom? Luba, what are you doing? But nothing. How could you brazenly take me in the eye? What are you talking about? No need to pretend. You understand perfectly. And I believed you like a fool. I don't know what you're talking about. You understand everything perfectly. You've done a very low thing. Good luck with your new job. Luba. Luba.
Luke, just think, we'll move to Yasnogorsk, but don't be so upset. Well, who is to blame that your Volodenka turned out to be? Yes, you've already got me with your idiotic Lesnogorsk. I can't hear you both anymore. I'm sick of you. Well, Lubanka, well, my girl. Well, my mom and I didn't leave of our own free will either. Of course, you don't care at all how to live, where to live, where to go. And I care. For me, maybe right now my whole future is collapsing. Now. But that's not fair anymore. At least you wouldn't touch mom. You have no idea what I'm like right now. Of course, I don't understand anything. I'm a child. And it's okay that this child is pregnant. And you. <laughs> Naturally. Your personal problems are more important to you than my life. Of course, it's more important. Mom. Luba. What's your deadline? About two months. There's still time. For what? For an abortion. Are you stunned? And what? Abortion is a crime. You're a murderer then. Nadia. Can I make my own decision? Okay, mom. I will have an abortion after moving. Mom, two months. He already has a heart, arms, legs formed. He already has a face. This is a small per person. I won't let him be killed. Is that clear? What do you want? So that I could have a baby with this scumbag. Who, in fact, throws us out of the same apartment? What am I going to do with a child alone in this wilderness, huh? You're not alone. You have me and mom. You know, you have your own life. I won't be an abuser. Well, what are you, daughter? What kind of watermelon? But if you decide to leave it, then we definitely know, we will help you, Lube. Mom, I've decided everything, I'm going to have an abortion. Just try it. <laughs> Luba. Вера, надежда, любовь, что остается прежде, дверь закрывает замок, разлука закроет сердце, хочется верить и ждать, хочется не прощаться, только такое счастье можешь ты мне не Check in. Hello. Hello. Well, people live. And we will, right? It doesn't seem to be a desert, not a remote place. In general, so, girls. That's all we have. All we have left. We need to get a job. And I'm already settled. What are you? When did you have time? And our supervisor recommended me to her classmate. So I brought her to the girl. That's fine. Oh, oh, oh. 
the excellent student bragged. Well, never mind, I'll find five jobs tomorrow, too. At least at school, anywhere. My supervisor and I will. Lubka, your character is rapidly deteriorating. He'll fly off for sugar, and she had a temper, and so is not sugar. Well, what do you want? I feel sick all the time, nothing fits on me. Do you want to have a character in English? Well, nothing. We need to be patient, and not be offended by the whole world. Listen, why don't I make you a sundress for the weekend? Allah Allah Borisovna, do you want? Oh, I need your Allah Borisovna. Eh. Girls, don't quarrel. In general, so. You, Lubka, are like a temporarily weakened one. So, you're going to take off the cellophane and open the boxes. Nadusha, well, you and I sort everything out and arrange it. And then we'll go get settled in life. Hello? Hello. Fifi arrived. They did not live in their capitals. Apparently, they didn't fit there. He thinks they're expected here. Well, good luck to everyone today. Until tonight, and I have to take the bus there. I ran. I need a couple of blocks of jump. Yeah. Nadusha, maybe I'll walk you out, and then I'll go look for work. Sure, let's go. <laughs> Come in. Hello. Hello. What is your question? I'm on the way from the health department. Here, have a seat. A nurse? Why to me? Go to the HR department. And to you, because I'm not a nurse. I am a nurse of the highest category. I have more than 20 years of work experience. I don't understand how a person of my specialty and qualifications can be sent to the position of a nurse. I didn't direct you. This lady told me there that you have a dozen applicants for every workplace of an intelligent profession in your city. It's true. But a highly qualified surgical nurse, there are few of them everywhere. But do you really have a complete set? Listen up. Valentina Ivanovna. And tell me, will vertebral recruitment ever end in this hospital? How can you not understand that a human life depends on every tour you take to work? So, excuse me, you need to go to the personnel department. It's not for me. Yes, optimized. Are you a surgical nurse? Yes, I worked as a surgical nurse. Only here, apparently, I will be a nurse. Clearly. I'm going to a fresh ambutant now. Can you do the dressing yourself? It's against the law, because I'm not employed. Clearly. Then not to my HR department. You will wash the floors and take out the ducts. Yes, wait, let's have a medical history. I have to understand that I am closed. But that's another conversation. So, amputation with you on the shap, go on. Well, if according to the cap, then the operation was performed throughout the metatarsal bones with the formation of two flaps and the formation of a short saw flap with the preservation of the tendon muscle. This is his first dressing after surgery. How will you bandage it? Well, there's a soaking otrosclerotic gangrel, right? Well, then, a bandage strengthening of the support with preliminary anesthesia. Well done. That's what I wanted to hear. Yes, optimized. There is no one to do the dressing. And I do not know how to address you. It's simple. Professor or Sergei Vasilyevich Demyanov, head of surgical departments. So where do I change? Into what? Did you seriously think that I would force you to work without official registration? No. Okay, wait for me. I'm going through now. Children, hello. 
now we are going to get acquainted with you. Who knows how people get to know each other? They greet each other and say, what is your name? And what's your name? My name is Nadezhda Pavlovna. I already know that you are Leva. All right. And why do people get acquainted? People get to know each other to get to know each other better. That's right, Ladaka. And we also get to know each other because our friends think about us. So now each of you will tell me about your friend or girlfriend. We'll start with Natasha. And I don't have a best friend. Because you're a fool. Sasha, you can't do that. Nadezhda Pavlovna, no one wants to be friends with her, because she was crying. It's okay. When I was little, I also cried a lot. Natasha, do you want me to be your best friend? And me. Valentina, there was a woman at your reception just now. Danilov? Yes, she will work for me as a surgical nurse. And I have no bids. What do you mean there are no bids? Drive your loafers to hell. So? If you don't, I'll do it myself right now. Well, wait. Well, okay, I am. Well, all right, I'll figure something out. That's fine, good girl. <laughs> What's your name? Danilov. No, what's your name? Faith. Faith. So, Vera, you will work for me. And now go to Valentina Stepanovna. Get settled. She's waiting for you. Thank you. I'll tell you so. There's not much to be happy about. Professor Demyanov, a well-known eccentric and tyrant in our city. No nurse can work with him. Nothing, I'll try. But he's a great surgeon. Saved the vice mayor of the city from certain death. And so everything is forgiven to him. I can handle it. Well, welcome to the team. Go and get registered. Thank you. Girl, aren't you going to join us by any chance? And where is it for you? How to wear. School of Civil Aviation. Depending on who you take. With your appearance, you will definitely become the best stewardess in the world. Thanks, but I'm not going to be a flight attendant yet. Agree. Our school is just a class, and the chief is an ace pilot. By the way, his last name is Nesterov, just like the founder of the aerobatic school. But that changes things. And where can I find him? And over there we have the main building. On the second floor, ask. Bye, guys. Look what it is. Hello, excuse me, please, but can you tell me where the office of the head of the student is? Yeah. Thank you.
Hello. Hello. Are you coming to me? If you are the boss, then to you. Yes, please, have a seat, come in. Thank you. What can I do for you? I want to work for you. Wow. Why should we be so honored? Well, first of all, you're close to home. And secondly, I am satisfied with your contingent. Cute. Contingent? Yes. We have a nice contingent. Well, in what field of civil aviation are you an expert? I want to work in my specialty. I can teach music, lead a choir or work as an accompanist. I'm afraid that choral singing will not be included in our staffing table. So, the Ministry of Internal Affairs can afford to make music, but there is no civil aviation. Are they really engaged? Of course. Do you know what kind of choir they have? One can only envy. Alas, there is no provision for choral singing in our curriculum. So, first of all, by planes. Could you have foreseen? I will definitely take it into account for the future. Sergey, come and see me. One idea arose. Mom, Luke, I'm home. Hi, there. Come to me. What do you like? Is it because of work or something? Look, well, it doesn't work out right away, don't worry. The money is still there, but we won't starve to death. What kind of person are you, Nagi? What kind of people are you and mom anyway? You don't care about anything. They are cursed in this Lesnogorsk. We are not needed by anyone at all. We have no friends or acquaintances here. How can you even live here? It's fine. As all people live, so we will live. That's it. Stop crying. You know, I wanted to tell you. We are in kindergarten today with the guys. I don't want to hear anything about your children. Nobody needs me here with my music at all. And anyway, I'm going to die soon. I'm constantly sick of everything. This city makes me sick from everything. And only sheep like you and mom cannot notice that this city is so disgusting and disgusting. Me, Lubachka. If there's a sheep here, it's you. Is that clear? From some article sheep. And with such a sister. I've seen this little phone, I know perfectly well that you correspond with this one. A scoundrel. Actually, I haven't answered any of his texts yet. Yes? Yes. What are you? And the fact that you're peeking at other people's phones is low, okay? I didn't expect this from you. Why should I hide everything from you now, or what? No, of course not. Let's discuss my moral qualities better than you with this vain Velodia. And what do you even understand? Teacher. Yes, Vova is weak-willed, but it's not him, it's all his mother arranged. He depends on her. But actually, he's very sick right now, and he constantly writes to me and asks for forgiveness, because he's good. Then why didn't you say something so nice about the baby? Why are you so thick-skinned, that's all? I'm so tired of you. Girls, stop swearing. Hi, mom. Hi there. Let's go to the kitchen. Nagi. Nadia. Please don't tell mom about Vova. Please. Lube. Well, it can't be that there's nothing for you in the city. Well, God be with them, with these pilots. Don't worry, baby, it's bad for you. 
Come with me to the manager tomorrow. Mom, she's a person in my soul. We will have a children's choir with you. Okay, childish, so childish, even better. Mom, is champagne for a reason, perhaps? What are we celebrating? For a reason. Imagine, they gave me a referral as a nurse. Clean up the pots. Wait, what did you agree to? Well, what was I supposed to do? Download rights? Mom. But, then, just like magic, the head of surgery appears and let's fight with the head doctor. And then he says to me, come with me to the dressing. And I tell him, so it's illegal. He says I don't care. And then he asked me a couple of questions and said, forget about the dressing, I was joking. But you answered the questions intelligently. Go get registered. So now, girls, I'm a professor's assistant. Well, let's drink to a new life. Oh, wait, what about me? Can't you? Well, okay, please. You can. I bought a soft drink especially for you. Is that clear? Mommy, you're the best. And I learned it. Not like this boring one here. A girl. So here, feed. Hello. 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 Nah, look at that. Local people can't find a job for years, they are wandering with grief. And these prostitutes. Ugh, my god. Nate, please, so immediately and at work. Why prostitutes? Decent like. She says she didn't spray poison either. After all, they don't make noise, they don't walk, they go to work. To work. To work. Yeah. Nadisha, you buy bread and milk after work today. Oh, and a couple dozen eggs. All right. All right. Well, that's it. For now. Good luck. Well, shall we go? Come on. We agreed to meet at the prom. Can you imagine that yesterday's Dolden looks at me impudently and says, Excuse me. But in what field of civil aviation are you specialists? Well, this mustache couldn't even think that young cadets need music classes, that they are just now having a period of life in order to get at least some skills. Well, maybe it's a good thing that he turned out to be a Dolden. Doldo has already realized everything, and the mustache is ashamed. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm sorry, please, I didn't mean to, really. I wanted to, I wanted to. Don't deny it, Lyubov Pavlovna. Excuse me, but how do you know my name? Hello, hello, Igor Vasilyevich. Hello, well, how? You showed me your diploma yesterday. So, I talked to the head of the academic department. The school has a plan for optional classes, and there is even a staff unit, but there is no elective. So there is an opportunity to discuss the creation of a choir at the school. Luba, I think we need to discuss this possibility urgently. Well, if Palin's love doesn't mind. Of course, I don't mind. Go, go. Then you are welcome to come to me. Come on, let's go phone, please. For now. Let me help you. How many people do we have for bandaging today? Six of ours and four from Purulent. Whether there will still be optimization. But they have a sister on vacation there, and the second one was cut. What time is it now? Half of the second. Half of the second. We still have half an hour, we can have tea. It's still up to the evening to do dressings today. I'm going to put it in the residence room. What is it in the residence room? You think in the head. Is there no kettle of your own? Come to my place. Come on. I came here on assignment. I thought for three years, it turned out, forever. Widowed here. The children left, who grew up where? 
Is she married herself? Twice a widow. But how? The first husband crashed in a car when the youngest daughter was three years old. And the second one. On this New Year's Eve, I went to the next room to the girls for gifts. And he never came. Massive heart attack. Yes. You will not envy. You know, the best medicines from everyday life beat this job. Our job. Okay, let's go for a dressing. Otherwise, we really have to stay here until morning. Please come in, have a seat. Thank you. Maybe tea, coffee? Water, if you can. Just a second. Thank you. So, Lyubov Pavlovna. Please don't call me that. I immediately imagine myself as such an aunt with a bunch, in a white shirt and there are benches on the collar. Wow, that's right. And he presented everything right away. So, I have this idea with the choir. It didn't even occur to me. I studied in the 90s when everything was falling apart. There was no time for music. But before, the choir used to gather in every school. So. I thought that my cadets would not be doldens, as you say. I'm sorry, please, I didn't mean to say that. You know, I have a problem. I talk first, and then I think. Really, I'm very ashamed. Welcome. You said it right. So, so that in their free time they don't get into trouble, maybe really, let them sing. I'm sorry, I do not know your name. Igor Vasilyevich. Yes, Igor Vasilyevich, I do not know how we will do this with you. You can't do it by order, and they will not go without orders. Let me talk to them myself, and if they don't want to, I'll go to kindergarten and get a job. Agreed. It's reasonable, there's nothing to object. If I announce a general gathering tomorrow, will you prepare? There is no need for preparation. Here charisma and charm are necessary. Well, then you are definitely lucky. So, tomorrow after classes at 1700 in the assembly hall? Thank you for giving me a chance. You're welcome. Goodbye. Igor Vasilyevich. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Well, we're almost done. So... How did I get sick of this nausea? This is so that you don't forget about the baby. Nagi, well, you're always going to ruin everything. Mom, well, who is she such a bore for? And Nadia is right. You need to register for a long time and start being monitored. Yeah. And I don't want to. Why? I'm afraid. Moreover, everyone will know about pregnancy. Oh, come on. I'll arrange it at my former job. There is a women's consultation there. You'll go there, and then we'll find a maternity hospital. Oh, come on, drive more. It's kind of sour, Og. Look at you. You're as sour as that cucumber. I would look at you if you had to convince a whole school of young guys that it was vital for them to enroll in the choir. Daughter, you will succeed. Don't worry, it's bad for you. Well, mom, well, these are young boys, 
ordinary varmints, cadets. Well, what should I do, huh? I don't know. I don't understand anything about boys at all. They are different. Here's Nadia, our teacher. Ask her. They just need to be interested. In general, by the way, the school is not bad. The special edition will go right away. We need to do something so that they don't start laughing right away as soon as they see you, and that's it. Right is gone. Basta. Finita. The lid. Oh, come on. And what should I come up with for them? Hello everyone. My name is Lyubov Pavlovna. And I can teach each of you to play the guitar and sing almost as much as I do. That's the only reason I need to work here for you. And in order for me to be able to work, we need to assemble a choir. And if any of you are ready to sign up for the choir, raise your hands. Well, Antonich, we need to organize a choir. Yes. Thank you all very much. Wait, please. So that's it. I'm giving my passport there now and then it's Nadezhda Danilova, understand? Got it. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. For an abortion? No. We are getting registered. Give me your passport. Vera Ivanovna, I found out here that you took night shifts. Yes, I took it. You know, we have such circumstances now, every penny counts. Do you even realize that a surgical nurse is an extension of the surgeon's hands? Tell me for mercy's sake, why do I need such an extension of my arms that swings after a night shift? Well, Sergei Vasilyevic, it's just that my daughter is about to give birth. And indeed, money is very much needed. How much money do you need? No, I didn't mean to. I'm not asking you what you want or don't want. I'm asking how much money you need to stop working at night. Everything that concerns your qualifications, professionalism will serve, I take it upon myself, I think they will not refuse me. And I ask you not to flog me and do not build yourself a heroine. You are a professional. Appreciate yourself.
So remember the most important thing. And your name is Nadia, Nadia, Nadezhda. All right. And if they ask for a passport? Well, what kind of passport? They have already asked for a passport. That's it. Now your most important documents are a medical card and a policy. All right, Nadia. I see. Is it a boy? A boy. Do you want to see his heart? No. Of course we do. Here it is, beating. How great! He is alive, he will be born soon, he will see the world. Which one? What kind of world will see? Well, what can I give him? So, wait, we agreed. You express, and I educate him. Well, no burden to you. If you want, go on with the choir, singing skills. The main thing is that our boy lives. All right. Excuse me. Well done. Thank you very much and see you next time. Well done, they sing well. Thank you. Igor Vasilyevich, we are going to give a choral concert this Sunday. It would be necessary for the guys to invite some of their friends and relatives. Well, so that there would be at least some viewers. And, well, if it's necessary, we'll do it, of course. All right. Also, Igor Vasilyevich, I will need a leave without pay after some time. Well, for about a month. I'm going to audition at the conservatory. Do you want to leave us? No, not at all. This is for correspondence. Don't scare me like that. Well, if necessary, we'll make a vacation. They deserved it. Thank you. Yes, yes. Hello. Oh, Nadenka, come on in. What happened? Tatiana Semyonovna, the fact is that I need to take a vacation. Without content for an indefinite time. Nadia, what kind of vacation can there be? You've only been working for us for a few months. I'm expecting a baby. For personal preservation. And go on maternity leave. Decree. Nadezhda Pavlovna, you have let me down terribly. The children have just started to get used to you, and you. I understand, but what can I do? Come on. Really, but why was it possible? I want to sincerely thank our musical director Lyubov Pavlovna Danilova, thanks to whom a new life began in our school. She discovered among our cadets not only a lot of musical, gifted people, she also increased their overall academic performance by 20%. Bravo! 
Bravo, Lyubov Pavlovna. You know, Luba, and in general, I am aware that your older sister is preparing to become a mother. You'll probably need money soon. Oh, come on, Igor Vasilyevich. Thanks, but don't. Somehow it's not necessary. I have already signed an order today to pay you a bonus for a successful concert. Really? Thank you very much. It will be very useful. In general, Luba, you can count on any friendly help. I hope I have the right to be considered your friend. Of course. You are a real friend and there is. Vera, wait a second. Yes. Vera, since the earth is full of rumors, some have reached me. Your eldest daughter needs a mother in Trady. Yes, the ninth month. Well, why are you silent? I told you, if there are any problems, feel free to contact me, especially in the field of medicine. Sergei Vasilyevich, she's just very worried that the child will be born without a father, you know? And he is very afraid of publicity. We are looking for a good maternity hospital, but not in Lesnogorsk, but somewhere nearby. Well, so that no one knows her. So, I have a classmate in Zerchinsk, the head doctor of the house. Yes. Good equipment, great specialists. I'll call him today and let you know the information in the evening. Thank you, Sergei Vasilyevich. You're helping us out a lot. Okay, tell me, daughter, not to worry. I'll tell you. And don't worry yourself. So, come on, come on, Lenochka. Well, don't worry, everything will be fine. How do you know? Did you give birth or something? Well, mom, please don't leave me here alone. Come on, my dear, of course we won't leave you. We'll all be here. We'll be waiting for you. We're almost there. Don't worry, everything will be fine. A little patience. You're so good. You're so beautiful. Luke, look at this. Look at the happiness. I want to. I feel fear. What are you saying? Leave me alone, ha. Huh? <coughs> Quiet. She's going to cry. No, that's it. Let me rent it to the baby's house or leave it here. Well, what's his mother like? Has she said everything? She said everything. So that's it. It was not Lyubov Pavlovna Danilova who gave birth to the child, but Nadezhda. And I'm not going to give up my joy. Yes, I'll bring you up, my son. And Vasenka, we will have Danilis. What did she call you? Vasily. What? Well, look at him. Well, who is he? My cornflower, of course. Hi there. Hi, there. Take your daughter. Congratulations. What do you have with us? Thank you. Thank you. 
Seriosa, Seriosa, where did you run to? Wait for me. Oh, mom, ours. The Danilovs. My daughter, congratulations. Hold on, gently, hold on. Take it, please. Thank you, goodbye. For now. What a nice, handsome one. Вера, надежда, любовь, что остается прежде. Дверь закрывает замок, разлука закроет сердце. Хочется верить и ждать, хочется не прощаться. Только такое счастье можешь ты мне не Ты видишь, я без тебя, но как я без тебя, как белый парус летит на горизонте в небо. Ты без меня, все так ты без меня. Кричит тебе. Well, Kostryakov, have you finished jumping? I warned you. Well, won't it happen again? Don't repeat it, Igor Vasilyevich. Hello, Igor Vasilyevich. So that's it, visors free. Lyubov Pavlovna. Lyubov Pavlovna. Good afternoon. Hello again. I am very glad to see you. Me too. Love is full. Why don't we go into my office and talk? All right. Please. Come on in. Well, Tell me how the audition went. The audition went great. I have received a program of preparation for the entrance exams, so I'll be getting ready at home. Anyway, the entrance exams are in the summer. I see. Can I have some tea for now? No, I wanted to go to the training part. I didn't find myself in the schedule. And why go somewhere? Now we will decide everything here. Svetochka, please invite Sergei Antonovich to the office. Well, now we'll find out everything. Please come in. Have a seat. You have become so much prettier, transformed. Thank you. This big city has had such a beneficial effect on you. No, not at all. I've never loved him. There is so much noise and fuss in it. Everything is completely different here. Here. May I? Thank you. Quiet, calm. It's like I've come home to myself. Yes, indeed, we have a nice city. The people in it are good, kind, and most importantly, responsive. Wonderful people. And as for all this, I will always look like this now. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Nidusha, I wanted to ask you. Maybe let Luba feed Vesechka while I have milk. Mom, we've already discussed this. Well, yes, this will create additional problems for me, Luba, and Vesechka. But I just thought it would be better. It's better for the child. No, it won't. Why? Nadia. Mom? Vajia is registered as my son. What we did to anyone is against the law. We are actually a criminal. Can you imagine what would happen if someone found out? Nadia, well, who will know? And how? Any accident, a careless word is enough. And how do I explain that I don't have milk, but she does? Well, Katyusha. Mom. Please. Well, why these experiments? The most important thing is that her maternal instinct has not yet awakened. Can you imagine what would happen if that happened? That's when we'll really have problems for everyone. Well, listen, I'm only thinking about the child, but it's so useful for him. Mom, let's think about all of us. But why these experiments? Yes, you will. You're right. We don't discuss this topic anymore, even between us. That's it, 
My baby, I gave birth to him. I have problems with lactation. The baby is on artificial feeding. Love, my sister helps me as much as she can, period. You'll find it well. All right. That's better, isn't it? Yes. Well, I knew about that, too. Do you understand? Hello. 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 Tell me, you shameless wench. And she also works in kindergarten. As she is only trusted with children, she must have been out with one of the dads. You're so mean. I walked and walked, I didn't throw it into the orphanage. She educates herself. She's a special sin for you, Margarita. And what do I need? What kind of sin? And her mother left you in our hospital, and you're washing her daughter's bones. The infection is ungrateful. Kids, we're going for a walk, putting on blouses, tying our shoelaces. Cornflower, wake me up. Quiet, look what it is. Tamasheka, look two minutes, I'm fast. How you've grown. Look at what Sofia is quietly just putting on. Tatiana Semyonovna, hello. Nadia. You know, I, well, decided to come back to you. Perhaps you will take my cornflower to your nursery. And how old is he? Four. Well, almost four months. Yeah, what are you? Yes, you sit down. Nadia, you know perfectly well that we take children from the age of one and a half. My situation is so hopeless. I can't sit on my sister's neck, on my mother's. Maybe we can somehow. No. I'll be fired right away. And what about the father? Doesn't help at all. Maybe we should nail him down properly, huh? No. To demand alimony. I try to forget about him. In general, it was as if he didn't exist at all. Prideful. It's just money. And the money is for the baby, not for you. Diapers, a shirt, baby food, and study. Nadia, look, you won't regret it later. I don't want him to have rights to cornflour at all. Oh. Honey, you understand a lot. They pay, they don't pay, but he still has the rights. And they can be deprived only through the court. On. So forgive me. Forgive me that I can't take yours, Vajia. Yes, I understand. Luba. You know, I really want to get to know your whole family. It would not be impertinence on my part to ask for dice with you. Oh, come on, Igor Vasilyevich. You and Nadia will be only too glad. We have it here. Hello, no acquaintances at all, so only if at work. I wouldn't say that. Half of the city is already talking about Vera Ivanovna, a great woman. On the 8th of March, flowers and sweets were put on her shelf. Respect. How do you know everything? Are you spying? You probably keep everyone under the hood. You say, also under the hood. It's just that Professor Demyanov and I sometimes play chess like bachelors. Yes, your mother won him over with her professionalism. That's how we have a person who is not enthusiastic and very picky. I'm going to tell you now in this case. Excuse me, I have to go. Nadia asked me to babysit. About the guests, of course, come. Let's go to lunch on Sunday. I'll warn my mother and Nadia. I will definitely be there. I owe you a present. Don't. Well, how is it not necessary? It's the first time in the house, so it's supposed to be. Until Sunday.
Lube, have you come? Come to me. Lube, turn on the mixture to warm up, please. Quiet, quiet, quiet. That's it. I asked you to help me. I asked you to help me. I got it all ready with my child. What is he? Did you still want to kill him before he was born? Girls, why are you fighting? Well, what's going on? What are you like a cat dog? You are the closest to each other. Well, forgive me, Nagi. I really didn't want to. All right, let's go. I'll warm it up now. Okay, let's go. Nagi, well, forgive the egoist. Well, I'm sorry, please. I know I'm being awful. Honestly. But if you know, why are you doing this? What's the point? And what's the point of my life? Well, really, you have Vajya. You're all into him. That's your meaning. And what do I live for? That's why I'm hitting on mom, on you. It is necessary that there is someone to take care of in life, then there is meaning. Or maybe I only know how to take care of myself. No, really, maybe I need to practice on myself first, and then put experiments on people, eh? That's selfishness, sis. Or maybe selfishness is not so bad. I'm not bothering anyone, no one is bothering me. Quiet and smooth. But you know, you need to fall in love. I wonder who. In whom? You have a whole school of young guys running around. Yeah, thanks. Some foals are laughing and running. And, by the way, Nagi, a guest will come to us on Sunday. The head of the school himself asked for lunch. This Dolden? Yeah. There's nothing, even though it's old. How old is he? He's not old at all. Yeah, he's about 40. You understand a lot. 40 years for a man is the heyday. Come on. Don't get in the way. Well, yes, he fell in love with me along the way. Mom, have you arrived? Yes, come on, meet me. Oh. Hello. Well, what are you? Why did you bring so much? Is that a lot? That's right, goodies. I don't even know what to do with it. Mom, can you imagine, Igor Vasilyevich came with his food ration. Hello. Hello, I'm Vera Vanna. Lubachka exaggerates. We have flowers in aviation. Thank you. They do not issue rations. Where do you want me to take it? Oh, come on, I'm on my own. Only here. Well, why are you, well? I wanted to do something nice for you. You know, I don't have a lot of imagination. You're coming through. Oh. Here. Maybe I'll sing to you before we sit down at the table. I can only dream. But this dream is not so difficult to realize. I miss you or without you. How many words are there in the Russian language to tell how much I love you? How? It's even better to keep silent, listen to the heart sound. All the movements of your soul are so easy to catch, when love burns in you and there is no me. 
тебе так И нет меня When you are not around, if you are silent, completely silent, there is no me and there is no you. When I'm going crazy with pain without you, when I disappear forever, you're not there. I miss you or without you. I miss you or without you. While you, Igor Vasilyevich, open the champagne, pour it out. Vera Ivanovna. Honestly, I do not know what fate brought you to our region. But you can't even imagine how grateful I am to this fate of yours. Well, you're intercepting us. Mom, I think that a person should be praised and pampered. Only then it will be good. Isn't that right, Igor Vasilyevich? Of course, that's right. That's right. But not for everyone. Lubachka, Vera Ivanovna. Nadia, I would like to ask you to just call me by my first name. Well, in a private setting. You know, I feel kind of stupid, awkward. Kind of like at work. Well, Igor Vasilyevich, then we'll have to have a drink at the Bruderschaft. That's it. Thank you. Lubka was flirting with her boss. And he seems to be seriously attracted to her. Yes, yes, I noticed. Maybe this fate will get married and forget this Velodia. Everything connected with him. Mom. What? Marriage and Luba are incompatible things. Oh, okay, well, she doesn't have anything serious with him. And in general, she won't have anything serious with anyone. And Velodia, doesn't she remember? No, no. No, what are you doing? No, I asked nothing. I haven't even said it once. Well, God willing. God willing. And I'm sorry for Igor Vasilyevich. If everything is as you say. Oh, he's going to suffer. Suffering. Yes. Good guy. Nagi, what are you worried about? I've done a whole race. It seemed that Vasilchek was crying. It's all right. Your Vasya is calm, balanced, all in you. Yeah. Okay, sit with the kids, and I'll go to the store. Come on, thanks. I'll be back soon. This chord is called a minor. Put your fingers as indicated in the picture, and I'll take the chord. To take the chords means to make the sister sound clean and melodic in turn. Almost. Look here. The boys in relation to the vulture should stand like this. Yeah. Well done, it's already much better. On the third string, pinch a little harder. That's it, class is over for today. I'll rehearse at home, then we'll continue. Thank you. Goodbye. 
I wish you good health. Hello, Pasha. Is love full? I'd like to talk to you. Excuse me, I have to go. Is something wrong, Loba? No, it's all right. Nagi, Nagi, what should I do? What are you doing? You'll wake the kids up. I need to consult you urgently. What happened? There's no face on you, Loba, tell me. Vova's mother is coming this Saturday. He texted me. Are you texting with him? Yes. Well, I mean, no, he wrote to me several times that he asked me to forgive him, but I never replied. What should I do? Forgave him, right? So you still love him? Yes, I do, but how to forgive him, I do not know. I wonder. Somehow I don't know, huh? Well, that's it. On the one hand, I understand perfectly well that his mother arranged all this. He didn't decide anything. On the other hand, he didn't do anything to help. Exactly. He just walked away and hid. He didn't answer my calls or text messages. In relation to you and your mother, it will be unfortunate to forgive. But she's with her mom, don't think about it. And if you love, you will forgive. Just this. How can you trust such a person? He who betrays once will betray twice. Omar Khayyam. Nagi, but it's all his mother, if he gets out of her influence. But you can't get away from his mother in life. If I were you, I would think a hundred times before doing anything. Come on, you know how. You're not going to rest until you talk to him anyway. Then meet him. And I'll talk to my mom just in case. I will not allow them to meet. After all he's done, this is a scoundrel. Mom, she loves him. Hardly anyone will stop her. Yeah. And besides, you know perfectly well who is really behind this whole story from the apartment. I know, of course. Velodia is really a good person, but he is completely not independent and unreliable, and there will be no future for them. It can't be. Well, yes, but she has to figure it out for herself. It's useless to explain it to her, mom. Oh, Nadia. Trouble has come. Trouble. I feel it won't end well. Mom, calm down. You know, everything usually ends well. If everything is bad, then this is not the end. Don't worry, mom. I love you. Thank you, Andruka, for your support. I appreciate it. I still don't understand why we're going there. You called, she didn't answer, so she's angry. Why would you do that? Honestly, well, preferably, I want to apologize to Labani. I have some kind of vile, disgusting feeling of guilt in front of her. Especially when now I have everything in a bundle, and they are in this Lesnogorsk. Plus, my mother squeezed the apartment there from them, you know? I understand. Something commendable. And how are you going to repent? I don't know. The main thing is to see each other. And then we'll hug, kiss, of course. A good plan. The main one is simple. Why are you ruffling my nerves? I've told you a hundred times that I love her. I really love her and I can't live without her. Do you hope that she will forgive you and it will become easier for you? I hope so. I feel like a bastard too much. Sort of here. Yes. Okay, let's go. Don't be shy. I'll have to apologize, not you. The main thing for us is to pull out the skirt, because with her mother, the conversation will not work. Well, we'll figure something out. Hello. Good afternoon. But the males have arrived. I knew the mess would start. 
Not a mess, but a brothel. Hello, what's the difference? It's still debauchery. Oh, I need to warn the precinct. Seraphim will not let loose yet, so he doesn't come to our calls anymore, he just swears, and he promised to bring me in for libel in general. And you, by the way, too, and why me? Meet my friend Andre. Vera Ivanovna, Nadia. Hello, very nice. So what brings you to us? We were passing through here, we decided to stop by on business. Luba, do you want to go for a walk? The weather is good, we'll take Nadia with us. You will show us everything here, we are here for the first time. Luba, you know my attitude towards this man. Mom, can I decide for myself? Of course you can. Of course. I see that you have already decided everything. Nadia, sh go for a walk with the guys, and I'll stay with Vajia. I don't want to. Nadia, sh Nadia, come with us, please. For the company. Okay. I'm going to change. Well, well, where to next? Well, do you have any decent restaurant here? Well, decent, I don't know. And there is a cafe on the street nearby. Yeah, well, not really there. Come on, let's go anyway. We're off the road. We'll figure something out there later. Are we going somewhere? Yes, we will show you. Thank you. Please. Mercy. Well done, Luban, you teach. Can you imagine, Andriuka, how her pilots sing? Yes. And you, Nadia, are a heroine in general. And Vasca is your handsome man. Nadezhda, did you graduate from a pedagogical school? To the institute. I didn't pass the competition, and they take them to school with such points. Luban, why don't you answer me, huh? Not forgiven? Let's not talk now, we'll talk later. And what about the child's father? Isn't he helping at all? I don't want to talk about it, sorry. You'll excuse me, I was tactless. Don't be angry, okay? And I'm not angry, I'm used to it. Often asked? Yeah. Constantly. Guys, why don't we go for a walk somewhere, huh? Good idea. Come on. Nagi, wait. Let's talk. Where will they go? We'll catch up with them. Let them talk. Tell me about yourself. I don't think you're interested. It's very interesting to me. Well, what are you going to keep quiet? Luba, well, you know perfectly well that I would never have done it myself. It was my mother's idea. She blames your mom for dad leaving us. But don't blame my mom. You know perfectly well that Vadim was going to get a divorce without her. The only thing I can't understand is, didn't you realize what you were doing? I didn't think straight. I thought it was just a formality. My mother promised me that, too. What did you say? Mother, Matthew, here you are with a stump did not think. I didn't think straight. 
Luban, it's not bad without you. I'm sorry, please. Is that all you want to say? I love you. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll think about whether to forgive you or not. Come on, the guys are waiting for us. Silverpool. Thank you. Well, wait for us in a week. If I can believe you. You can, you can. When we arrive, where will we go? Goodbye, Hope. I hope you don't mind us coming. <laughs> Unexpectedly. Of course not. We will be waiting for you very much. See you later. Goodbye. For now. Happily. For now. Well, let's go. How do you like him? Let's go. Oh, that's it. Guys, this lesson is over. Thank you. That's it. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Lubachka, here's what I wanted to offer. Will they continue the wonderful tradition of family feasts? Well, I mean your family and myself. You can do it right today or tomorrow. How do you see it? No, not today and not tomorrow. We have relatives coming, it will be inconvenient. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Didn't we decide to switch to you? Yes, I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Well, that's it. Well done. That's it. So, come to me. Up. That's it. Well done. So where's the bottle? What did you do with a bottle somewhere? Lube, stop running around. Come help me find a bottle. Maybe to the kitchen. Now. Hello. Yeah, guys, get up. I saw it. Come on, thanks. Yeah. Nastia, the guys have arrived. Yes. Please take Andre for a walk with the child. Vova and I need to talk, find out everything. I wonder how I'm going to take it. He's not a disc-powered bottle. Well, Nagi. Andrew. Listen, can you take Nadia somewhere now? I really need to be alone with anyone. So how do you imagine it? Where will she go with me alone? Well, you offer to take her baby for a walk. Well, think of something, please. I'll try. Thank you. Hello. Come on. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Natasha. Hello there. Apparently, the father came, and his conscience tortured him. What kind of conscience? Alimony pinned him down, you came running. What are you? Luba, have you forgiven me? No. Luba. I love you and I will always love you. I don't need anyone but you, but... Please don't say anything. Please. I've missed you so much. On your hands, on your lips, on everything. In life, the goal is important. This is the most important thing. Yes. Oh. Thank you. I agree. 
Careers or children, for example. But something else, to achieve the goal, you need to sleep less and work more. Oh, that's just about me. I hardly sleep at all, I work very hard. But you are women, it doesn't concern you. That's your goal, sleeping in a wheelchair. You've already achieved everything. Giving birth is not enough. We still need to educate. Well, you can handle it. I can see how you are. Oh, Kush is old. Why don't I? Can you? Of course. I have two nieces, so I'm going to feed them and change diapers. Don't be afraid. Oh, I switched to you. Excuse me. Yeah. Nothing. Let's assume that this is our braider shaft. Without a kiss. Ah, uh, got it. Well, a fighter. Hi there. Hi there. Cornflower. Oops. Who wants to eat us here, huh? Quiet, quiet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, what could I do? I'm totally dependent on her. And you know my mother, she will never stop at anything in her life. I haven't gotten off work yet. The boss got caught, a rare goat. Kicked me out, the bastard, in the summer. I still can't find a job. Good day. You'll be fine. You're so handsome and strong. Fafka. If you only knew how mad I was at you, I thought I'd see you on the street. What? Acid would have doused me. Is that where you're going? That was the end of my fantasy. How I wanted to hate you. Well, thank God, I didn't succeed. What would I do now if I hated it? How could I love you back? Luban, I love you so much. I'd move mountains with you. Come on, get dressed quickly. Get dressed. Legs. That's it. <laughs> Are you back yet? Well, yes. And where is Luba? Did Luba feel unwell? Yes, and what about her? Nothing. She just lay down to rest, let her sleep. And it's time for us, Andriuka. How is it time? So right away? Yes. And we're already late. Nadia. Can I call you? Yes, of course. Call. For now. Andre, let's go, please. For now. Nadiashka. I am the happiest. You're crazy. Yes. I've lost my mind. Velodia, wait. I didn't get it. Have you told Lubka everything? Andriak, don't give me brains. Let's go. Stop. What do you mean let's go? You explained everything to Lubka, apologized. Andriak, what have you got to me? Eh, it will resolve itself somehow. Let's go. What will resolve? Wait, so you didn't explain anything, didn't apologize? You told me yourself that you love Lubka, you can't live without her. And now what? Take me away from here. And anyway, I don't understand why you're marrying Natasha. I'm not getting married for what, but for what? I won't live another day with my mother. And with Natasha, career, future. But not everyone has turned out so well, Andriak, as you have. Not everyone has grants, awards. So that there are grants, there are awards. I worked for Uncle Negroes around the clock, okay? While you were having fun with the girls, I was digging the ground with my nose. In general, you go to Luba now, explain everything. Or I'll personally drop you here. And you know what I'd rather do? I'll tell my father-in-law everything. And then you will have a wedding and a career. Andrew, what are you doing? Nothing. It is better immediately and to pieces than Luke will then wait and hope for his whole life. All right, I'll go and tell you. Go and tell me. I'll go and tell you. But why do you need it? I don't want to lose a friend. And you have the door open there. 
Didn't have time to close. What did you forget? Where is Loba? In the shower. I need to talk to her alone. Can you call, please? Lyab, Velodia is back. My beloved, are you back? Loba. Did something happen to you? Yes. I'm marrying my boss daughter. I came to tell you about it, but I didn't have the courage. Please forgive me if you can. Loba, I don't want you to look for me. I don't want to change my phone number. And I respect you too much to lie like that. Do you even understand what it's like to be pregnant alone? What? Do you even understand what it's like to see your child calling your sister mom all the time? What are you talking about? Loba. What have you done? Come on. Did you break your life for the second time? Yes, I hate you. What did you do? I'm sorry. Girls, what happened? What's going on? Loba, Loba, my daughter. Calm down. Nadia, call an ambulance. Be careful. So... Nadusha, you stay at home with Vajia, and I'll go from the hospital myself. I'll call you back, okay? All right. I'll call you. Well, go home. Tell me, doctor, is it very dangerous? Any stress is dangerous, especially when a person is alone. It's good that you were there and everything went without. But will it pass? Eventually, but it will take months, maybe even a year. It's like that, seriously. It's not worth it. She's shackled. I'm sorry, please, you can't come here. Вера, надежда, любовь, что остается прежде, дверь закрывает замок, разлука закроет сердце, хочется верить и ждать, хочется не прощаться, только такое счастье можешь ты мне не Well, that's it. We've made it out. It's time to go home. Are you ready? What's that? You'll rest there. You'll gain strength. Home is the best medicine. Are you feeling dizzy? So, girls. Have you arrived? The car is served. Great. Yes, we can go. Lube, well, you can't be so long killed. We've already marked Vesechka for a year. He will start talking soon. Well, let's go. The burden is waiting for you. Mom, don't talk about Vajia. You'd better have pity on me. I didn't push in any form. 
I know that the premium heals. Yes, Sergei Vasilyevich, thank you. Thank you for your support. You can always count on me. Yes, I understand you. See you tomorrow. Vera Ivanovna. Eh, hello. Hello. Can you tell me how Lobotchka is? I can't get through to her. There's not much to be happy about yet. The doctor said we need a long rehabilitation. So, it will not be soon that you will have Lobotchka. What are you talking about? I understand everything. That's the trouble. Vera Ivanovna, don't be mad. I brought something here for the found baby, a pure heart, really. Thank you. I'll walk you out, I'll help you carry it. And Lobotchka will recover. He will definitely recover. Of course, of course, no one doubts. And here's another thing, if you need anything, come to me right away. Maybe some money for medicines. We will gather all the teams, the right of speech, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Vashia. Hello. Mom? Did you hear that, Mom? Mom said. Lubka, Mom said. That's great. Are they calling? Is someone pinching? Aunt. Hello, Aunt. Come on. Mom, where's your sweet? Who are you? I was talking. So who was talking? It's such happiness. It's mine. Come on, let's do it again. <laughs> I don't understand anything. A courier brought some kind of summons. He said that's it. Which court? Judge Pa. I urge you really. Civil case of deprivation of parental rights. Listen, look. There should be a phone written there. Maybe I am. Let's make a call. Come on, come on, come on. I need to make a call. Hello. Could you connect me with Pavlova? Judge, yes. And you know, there was some mistake. Here we have received a summons for the 20th. Last name, Danilova. Hope and love. I see. Thank you. Well, they want to take the child away. For Vesechka or something. How do I pick it up? And he's someone from Podu. I think I can guess who. I was hiding the pregnancy. I don't understand at all why Vladimir decided that it was his child. Nadezhda Pavlovna, don't bother. The court will do a medical examination anyway, and everything will immediately fall into place. And as soon as it turns out that your sister actually abandoned the child and illegally transferred it to a third party, the child will immediately be given to the upbringing of his own father, who was kept in the dark. <clears throat> to be honest, I don't even understand why you didn't adopt a child legally. Yes, because... She wanted to have an abortion and agreed. Only if no one finds out about it. Yes. I'm on your side with all my heart, of course, but the law is stronger than me. I love him. He loves me. He's my son. He doesn't fall asleep without me. They can't take it from me. Of course. We will do everything in our power. But I want to warn you right away, the chances are negligible. One thing I can't understand is how the father found out about the child, 
and if you hid everything so carefully, Vera Pavlovna. Oh, Sergei Vasilyevich, why are you waiting for someone here? You. Me? This is for you. Is this for me? You, you. Thank you. Vera, do you know what I've been noticing lately? You're not yourself. Is it because of my daughter? Have I become a bad worker? No, no, no. There are no complaints here. You see, I wanted to say that they have become very important to me. Very, very dear. And I would like to say that you can count on me completely. You? Are you trying to take care of me? Yes, I like you. Sergei Vasilyevich. Let's agree like this. Just Sergey. You see? Burr, I'm just really worried. I'm afraid of being rejected. What do you want to hear? I don't know. Anything but rejection. I don't know. You can say that this is so unexpected for you that you should think, but not rejection. But, really, it's all very unexpected. And I have to think about it. See you tomorrow. Come on, sit down. Did you tell me? No, I wanted to take revenge on him, to ruin his new life, which he had planned. It turns out that he just came to me for the last time. Do you know what you've done? You're a fool in love. I warned you. Well, Forgive me for being a fool. Well, I'm sorry. Well, please. I'm sorry, but I was thinking about myself. Well, all right, all right. What can I do now? What? That's it. Rest up. You've already done everything you could. You can relax. Now they'll just take our child away. My child will be taken away. Do you understand? Actually, you went on a date with me yourself. You saw what he was like. You saw that he said that he missed me, that he couldn't live without me. Did you see that? Yes, you're right. Do you know why? Because I'm as naive a fool as you are, just like my mother. I also want to see the good in people, not to notice the bad. Okay, in short, now they'll just take the baby away and that's it. Do you understand? You betrayed me. You betrayed us all. Do you hear that? Why are you silent? You. How could you? You. Do you understand what you've done? Oh, come on. Don't touch mom. Daughter. Don't cry. Don't cry. Well, calm down. A good man. The priest. Take it. Thank you. Hello, hello. And I'm going to the store and get something. Oh, no, you don't have to watch anything. Thank you. Hello. Tell me, does the Danilovs family live here? They live here. And what is your question to them? I'm with them on a family matter. Well, come on in, the 30th apartment. Thank you. So think about it. They come to them by taxi, and even for family matters. Probably the Danilovs stole a child from the maternity hospital, and now they are blackmailing rich parents. I'll tell you so, Stepanovna, they're going to rip off a lot of dough, these Danilovs. Yes, you, Margarita, generally have a brain on one side. How was the kid stolen? Yes, if they had one, the aunt would have walked here, and we would already have special forces parking. So, if you don't want big, very big problems and troubles. I suggest settling this delicate matter amicably. You peacefully and quietly admit that this boy is not your child. 
And then there will be no criminal prosecution. Live as you want. Well, or as you can. You are only required to return the child to his own father. I don't understand. Why do you need a child? Why? A very funny question. You dared to get into my life. Into my son's life. But this is unforgivable. In addition, I would like my grandson to be brought up properly and grow up in a normal family. And also, I would not like Luba to have any means of putting pressure on our family. Given her unpredictability and unhealthy psyche, I would like to protect my son from the neurotic seizures of this person. Get out. You won't get Vajia goodbye. <laughs> Is this your general decision? Yes, general, go away. Yes. Well, then... We'll see you in court. And I, as a lawyer, will win this court. And I don't advise you to hide Vesechka or run away with him. This will be qualified as child abduction and is fraught with very, very serious consequences. I'm going to keep pushing you until you end up in a mental hospital. All three of them. There is no need to accompany. Have a nice day. Lyubov Pavlovna, we won't finish. Eh. Let's finish. Thank you, Andre. The next class is on Thursday. Goodbye. Yeah. Hello, Luba. And you don't get sick. I wouldn't have dialed you for anything if it hadn't been for the visit of that mother of yours, to whose tune you've been dancing all your life. And you'll dance to death. Yours or hers, it doesn't matter. It's so strange that I could go crazy for a man like you. I could, Lubachka, I could. I even have correspondence and photos. Only in these photos it's not you, but a completely different Velodia, whom I once invented in my head. Of course, it was beautiful. Luke, honestly. I don't have time for love philosophy. I love my wife now, and I have no time to chat with you. It doesn't give me any pleasure to talk to you either. I'm calling. Not to ask. It's no use asking you for anything anyway. I recommend influencing your mom. I do not know how it is done, but please stop this whole judicial history. I'm sorry, Luba, I can't. Your act, or rather, your act with Nadia, is savagery. Come on, I don't have time. I'll see you in court. For now. Lyubov Pavlovna, Luba. Luba, I'm sorry, I accidentally heard everything. Could you give me this guy's phone number? I want to talk to him like a man. Don't. It's manly to be with men, but this one. Luba, I understand. It's very difficult for you right now, you have big problems. The trial is tomorrow. I really want to help. I'll do what I can, because I am. I know. Thank you, Igor, for what you are. I'm sorry. Your Honor. Have you heard the testimony of the paramedics? 
Lyubov Danilova gave birth to the child, and her sister, Nadezhda Danilova, is registered as a mother. Forgery on the face. I couldn't get through to him. He didn't answer calls or text messages. Please be quiet. And even after all this, the mother had the opportunity to tell everything. After all, you continue to maintain relations at your new place of residence. They were seen near the house. Why on earth would I have to report to him? He left me. Luba, I ask for silence, and the defendant, stop shouting from the spot. Otherwise, I will remove you from the hall and the process will continue without you. Antonina Dmitrievna, is that all? Yes, that's it for now. Nikolai Petrovich. Yes, we ask Stepansova to call witnesses. Your Honor, I want to support Luba and Nadenka. Nadezhda Danilova is a very good educator. She loves children, knows how to find a common language with them. It's just that the kids all adore her. You know, I think she deserves to raise a child. And in general, taking away a son from a mother is inhumane. Are you done? Yes, I have everything. Your Honor, can I have a correction? Yes. She's not a mother. She's a kidnapper. And I wouldn't be surprised if the prosecutor's office decides to open a criminal case on its own under the article kidnapping. Yes, you're a vixen, your honor. She took away our apartment. She's just chasing us and taking revenge for no one knows what. Bailiff, take them out of the hall. We will make decisions in your absence. Please leave the hall. Thank you. going to appeal anyway. You can still try to fix everything. Mom, what are you going to fix? It was clear there that everything was bought. It's okay, we'll fight to the end. Verochka, a new one has been brought to the seventh ward. Here is the medical history. Prepare for surgery for breakfast. Ira, what happened? The court decided to take Vesechka away from us. Today it was reported that the appeal was rejected. It's not fair. They can pick him up at any time. What does it mean to take away? Well, that's why. Why, Vesechka? Stop. Stop. That there must be some way out. Think of something. This. This is a court decision. And there's nothing you can do about it. That's right. Listen, let's move Nadia and the baby to me. No one will find me for sure. At least we'll buy some time now. We'll figure something out. Sergei Vasilyevich. Serioza. But you might be in trouble yourself. I won't let anyone. The ways of life are for you, not for your loved ones. Thank you. I'll talk to Nadia. Come on, let's see who came to us there. Who's there? Hello, Danilov's apartment, let me come in. Inspector of Guardianship Tumanovich, Bailiff, Secretaries, Judicial. When you go to the field, check it out. Don't be afraid. Let me hold your baby. I have 20 years of experience working with children. What's your name? Vasechka. Vasechka. Vasya. I'm sorry, I don't quite understand. This. What is there to understand? Your baby is sent to the legal parent by a court decision. If you want to collect things, you're right. But it's not legal. We weren't in the courtroom. Wait. What are you? Bring the child back. Are you bastards? Give the child back. What is it? Huh? Give the child back. Oh, my God. Hello, Nadia. Yes, hi, Mom. Nadia, Vesechka was taken away. That's how the bailiffs came and took it away. And what to do now?
Nadezhda Pavlovna, where are you going? And where is Vasiatka taking you? To my dear father. So the court decided. Lubotchka, come on, give me the address, Volodia. Don't worry, I have one argument on it. Yes, everything later. Well, okay, I get it. For now, thank you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't touch it. It's not a crazy mixture. Help, he's stealing from a child. Help me. Let me go. What are you doing? Hello? Hello, Vera Danilova? Yes. I'm calling at the request of your daughter Nadia. And why? What's wrong with her? Where is she? Don't worry, she's in the police. Where? Mamuleka, what can I do now? What do you mean I can? Your sister wanted to kidnap a child, your child. Do you understand that? She committed a crime. And it's all because of you, by your grace, Luba. I didn't want that. Oh, my god, we've already heard that in court. And now, as you want, let's act. Save your sister. How? But as you want. Who are your friends, acquaintances? Well. Andrew, this is Volodia's friend. Yes. But they don't talk to him anymore now. And besides, he liked Nadia, I could see that. There you go. Come on, call, look for and call Nesterov. He loves you, do you hear? Mom, daughter. This is not the last person in town. Give me Andre's phone number, I'll call him myself and explain everything better. And you run to Nesterov. Come on, now. Hello, hello, Andre. Yes, it's me. Hello, this is Nadia's mom. I really need your help. What happened? Nadia is in jail. Oh, my God. Well, that's not the worst part. In general, Igor, I have no one in this city except you at all. The whole family is destroyed. I, in general, am to blame. In general? If you don't help, I don't know. Should I jump the roof now or send a pill? Lubotchka, come on, stop it. Don't be silly. I'll do what I can. Please get Nadia out of jail. Hello. Pasha, great. Pash, I'm calling on business. I really need your help. Yeah, alright, where to drive up? When? Listen, old man, we need to move faster. Great. Food. Let's go.
Andruka, well, you're a sadist. Hi there, I've been playing truant all night, went to bed two hours ago, what's so urgent with you, help out the guests, lawlessness is happening, good people need to be helped, what to do, we need all the information about one oil and gas family, there's dad, daughter, son-in-law, compromising evidence, yes, and such that they become compliant compliant. Well, don't you need public publicity? It's already easier. What is the problem? Well, in short, a group of rich bastards know but very good, but not rich women. And you decided to nail them? Yeah. I'll sign up for this. Costian, help out, but a lot. Calm down, we'll do it. Give me the raw data. Yeah, now. So. Lobotchka. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Well, wake up, or something. Come on, come on, get up. Here you go. Yeah, thanks. So look, everything is painted in detail here. About offshore companies, one day firms, start right away so that Andrei Mihailovich understands who he is dealing with. Won't they kill us for this? They can. Therefore, you must indicate that you have a trusted person who, in the event of your disappearance, will merge all information into the internet, into open access. Got it. Further, yes, information on Volodya Zayatko, about his left-wing contracts, about fraud, legal, here. But most importantly, tell me what you know about what he did before the wedding, after. How he treats his wife and beloved father-in-law. Obviously, after that, the father-in-law will swim. Well, if he doesn't kill his son-in-law, then he will definitely drive from the office. Uncomfortable. What's inconvenient? Yes, I feel like a snitch. Oh, come on, the good should be with fists. If you want to punish evil, and don't look back. Especially since the truth is yours. You're not lying, got it, young? Thank you very much. Thanks dry, you won't get your throat wet. So that's a bottle of something nice for you. You know me, and the company, knitting. Yes, thank you very much. I was glad to see you, hold on. Wow. So, the apartment was squeezed out and the child. That's right. It's not good. It's ugly. I agree. Serioza. Dial me Prakadko. Hello, Prakadko. Hello, Prakadko. Well done for finding out. What's going on with you in general? And then you don't know, a woman hugged her baby for this monkey house? I'm not interested in your excuses. Okay, come on. They'll come for her. And escort the detainee with all honor and apologies. Got it? today. All right, hang up. Pash, thank you very much. I owe you one. Come on, old man. For justice, I am harnessed free of charge. Thank you. How's the sun, by the way? Okay, thanks. Flying. Well, say hi. Absolutely. Well? It's okay. Nadia is free. He'll be home soon.
Well. Are we going to release our sister? Don't, Andrew called. He's already in the department, waiting for Nadia. Home then? Yes. Is your system buggy? The system is fine, it's just that your pass has been cancelled. In the sense of annulled, do you even know who I am? At the disposal of the management, all questions to him. What the hell? Yes, yes, of course, of course, as agreed. Andre Mihailovich, Andre Mihailovich, just you wait. They don't let me into the office there for some reason. This is because you turned out to be a rare goat, Vovch. I didn't understand. How did you not understand? At first, you went with my Natasha to get wedding rings, and then on the same day you went to Lesnogorsk to your former mistress in bed? No, me. Now you want to put your little bastard on her neck? Andre Mihailovich, what are you talking about in general? So, you're running out of my office right now. And so that your foot is no longer here, nor in Natasha's apartment. This is one time, and then I'll take it myself. You take your little bastard right today and do whatever you want with him. That's two. Andre Mihailovich, listen to me, please. You should be glad, son, that I'm not bringing a criminal case against you. I already know all about your art from the accounting department. Two. That's three. Andre Mihailovich, please. Andrei Mihailovich, tell your mothers that I'm changing the legal advisor and I'm cancelling the contract with her. That's four. Valera, show me, comrade. No, 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 territories. Andrei Mihailovich. Andrei Mihailovich. Yes, wait. Andrei Mihailovich. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you for what? For the fact that a real man was there in a difficult moment. Nadia, wait. You said you were a real man. When your mom called, I was really scared for you. I realized that I care about you. And I want to be there. Always. Wait, did you just say, always around? Wait, don't interrupt. I've liked you for a very long time. And now I realize that I can't imagine life without you and without Vashia. Andrew. You have become a very close person to me. But... Let's get the cornflower back first, okay? Yes, of course. Well, you know what you've done, you idiot. Well, what are we going to do with this baby now? No. I won't have him in my apartment after that. What are you, to take to an orphanage? Mom, well, we can't just give them Vajia, he's not some kind of thing. Not only did you bury your career, your reputation, you buried mine. You robbed me, after all. You're just as much of a loser, a loser like your father. The last thing I can do for you is to draw up an amicable agreement between the parties where you voluntarily renounce the rights to this child. Do you understand me? I really hope that this family will not change their mind to take him back. Listen. Get out of my sight. 
I can't see you anymore. Hello. Yes, good morning, Andre. What? Of course, of course, we'll come and pick it up now. Thank you. Girls, Nadia, Luba, come here soon. What's there? You're going faster. They are ready to give Visechka there. Well, collect it quickly. So? What are you waiting for, Commander? I'm waiting. And admit it, Commander, which of the three has your eye on? And then we are confused about something here. <laughs> Igor Vasilyevich, hello. Is that you? Wow, let's go, let's go. This is NATO. That's what a pilot's uniform does to women. You look. Ah. Luba, here we need to sign a settlement. Beekeeper. They have already signed everything, it remains. You're my good one. I'm so glad to see you. And where is the father? Dad's shaking. Tears begged me to represent him. Afraid, probably. And rightly so. I get it. Here. Here we are at home. Thank you. My god, did they really sue, Vajya? Hello. Or was it brought for a while? Forever. Oh, what happiness. Nadusha, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Come on, come on, come on. No, you got it. Oh, yeah. I can't believe this whole nightmare is over. Andre, there definitely can't be such an option if suddenly Vova and Mom change their minds. There is no option. Everything is final and irrevocable. Of course. Well, all right. And if anything, we have a reliable defender. It's true. You're welcome. Oh, guys, thank you very much. Without you, we would have been lost for sure. Yes, Nadia. Yes. I understand. Maybe now is not the best moment. But I would like to be in the presence of your mother. Oh. And sisters. So. Nadia, be my wife. Put it on. I want to be your husband and be a father to Vajia. Nadia, how wonderful. Of course. Oh. Oh. Agree. Yes, there is no need to persuade me, I already agree. Really? <laughs> then it's bitter. Bitter. Bitterly. Hooray. Bitterly. 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 Not young. Once. Bitterly. Three. Four. A moment of attention. Lubachka, I have decided to ask for your hand in marriage. Oh, my God. Lubachka, if the prospect doesn't bother you. Miracles. Become the wife of a former pilot. Day, today. Marry me. I love you, just happy. Me too. Come out, I agree. Lubachka, congratulations. 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 Young, take pictures. Look into the cameras. And, my dear assistant, won't you be lonely alone in an empty apartment? Well, maybe it's lonely. Did you hear that? Maya, I understand you very much. Vera, I am a simple man. Let's just say, let's live together. Wow, how? I'll think about it. Mom, catch it. Счастье <laughs> 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 
是这么。